Are you stuck deciding between Flutter and React Native for your next mobile app project? In this video, we'll check out the similarities and differences between these two popular frameworks to help you make a smart choice and take your app development to the next level. Both platforms are popular. React Native is used by big names like Instagram, Pinterest, Discord, Tesla's car systems, and Microsoft Office, just to name a few. Flutter can be found powering Google Ads, BMW driver software, eBay Motors, Groupon, and more. But which one's the right fit for you? Let's first check out their backgrounds, then see what they have in common before finally taking a look at what sets them apart. React Native was created by Meta, formerly known as Facebook, and dropped in 2015. It's an open source framework that uses JavaScript and React, which is the popular library for building user interfaces. Flutter, on the other hand, was created by Google and first released in 2017, with a stable version out in 2018. It's not just any framework, it's a full-blown toolkit with its own rendering engine, widgets, and tools. They both are used by a range of companies, and in what looks like pretty similar ways, and that's not all they have in common. Although Flutter and React Native are often seen as rivals, they actually have a lot in common that makes them popular choices for cross-platform mobile development. Both focus on efficiency and helping developers be more productive, making it easier to build mobile apps for different platforms using a single code base. This shared goal leads to several similar features and approaches. One big similarity is how they handle UI development. Both frameworks use a component-based architecture, building the UI from reusable parts. In Flutter, these parts are called widgets, while in React Native, they're known as components. This modular setup encourages code reuse, easy maintenance, and a more organized development process. Developers can whip up custom components, widgets, and mix them together to create complex and dynamic user interfaces. Another common trait is their emphasis on quick development cycles. Both Flutter and React Native have features that speed things up and boost productivity. Flutter's hot reload lets developers see changes in real time without needing to restart the app. React Native has fast refresh, which offers a similar experience, making it easy to iterate and experiment quickly. These features cut down on development time and make debugging smoother. Both frameworks also aim for top-notch performance. They go about it in different ways. Flutter does it through native compilation, while React Native uses a JavaScript bridge but they both work hard to deliver a smooth and responsive user experience. They use various optimization techniques to reduce rendering times, improve load times, and manage memory effectively. The overall performance can vary based on the specific app, the developer's optimization efforts, and the device being used. Lastly, both Flutter and React Native have thriving supportive communities. These communities offer valuable resources, including documentation, tutorials, third-party libraries, and forums for discussion and troubleshooting. This support is helpful for developers, especially those just starting out, as it opens up a treasure trove of knowledge and help. Plus, the active contributions from the community ensure that both frameworks continue to grow and get better over time. They do have some important differences, though. Let's break down what really sets Flutter and React Native apart, so you can see their strengths and weaknesses and pick the right one for your project. Flutter uses Dart, a modern, object-oriented language made for building user interfaces. It's optimized for fast development and top-notch performance. Though Dart's newer than JavaScript, its clear syntax, strong typing, and ahead-of-time AOT compilation help boost Flutter's performance. However, the use of JavaScript in React Native makes it accessible for web developers, allowing them to use their current skills to build mobile apps. It builds on the core principles and syntax of React, making it a smooth transition for web developers who already know the library. Both frameworks use a component-based structure, JSX for UI elements, and a similar approach to managing state and props. This shared foundation really helps React developers ramp up quickly when moving to mobile development with React Native. They can use their existing knowledge of React concepts like component lifecycle, data flow, and UI rendering to jump right into mobile app building. While React Native does introduce a few mobile-specific components and APIs, the core principles stay the same, so developers can get productive fast and create native-like mobile experiences with tools they already know. Flutter's architecture really sets it apart when it comes to performance. It compiles directly to native ARM code, skipping the need for a bridge, which gives it a near-native performance that can compete with truly native apps. This direct compilation means smooth animations, quick load times, and a highly responsive user experience. React Native, while it performs well in many situations, uses a JavaScript bridge to talk to native modules. 
This bridge, even though it's been optimized over time, can slow things down, especially in complex apps, graphics heavy scenarios, or when there's a lot of back and forth communication between JavaScript and native code. Flutter's UI design centers around custom widgets powered by its high performance Skia graphics engine. This means your app will look and feel consistent across all platforms, no matter the operating system version or device. Flutter widgets are highly customizable, giving you pixel-perfect control over the UI and letting you create stunning, platform-agnostic designs. React Native uses native UI components, which means your app's UI elements are made from the platform's native building blocks. This gives a familiar and platform-specific look, blending seamlessly with the operating system. However, Getting perfect cross-platform UI consistency can be trickier with React Native since native UI elements might look a bit different on various platforms and OS versions. Flutter's Hot Reload feature is a total game changer for developers. It lets you see changes in your code almost instantly without restarting the app or losing its state. This speeds up development, makes prototyping a breeze, and simplifies debugging. Flutter's AOT compilation to native ARM code gives it amazing performance, almost on par with real native apps. This means you get smooth animations, quick load times, and a highly responsive user experience, even with complicated apps. It comes with custom widgets rendered by its own Skia engine, which helps keep a consistent look and feel across all platforms, no matter the underlying OS or device. This makes it easier to avoid platform-specific styling issues and reduces the chances of UI inconsistencies between iOS and Android. Flutter's flexible UI system and highly customizable widgets let developers create unique and eye-catching designs that really stand out. Although while getting perfect cross-platform consistency can be tricky, React Native lets you customize the UI for each platform if you need to. This is handy for apps that require specific design elements or interactions for each platform. The documentation in Flutter is comprehensive, well-organized, and beginner-friendly, making it a breeze for developers to learn the framework, grasp its concepts, and troubleshoot common issues. You're likely to find solutions for common problems, pre-built components, and help from fellow developers. Hopefully, you're starting to get a sense of what feels right for you. Let me help make the decision even easier. Choosing between Flutter and React Native is a big decision that depends on a bunch of factors. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. Keep these points in mind to make the best choice for your project. If having a pixel-perfect and consistent UI on both iOS and Android is important, Flutter's custom widgets and Skia rendering engine are a great fit. For apps where performance is key, like games, animation-heavy apps, complex data visualizations, or anything resource-intensive, Flutter's native compilation gives you a real edge. Flutter's awesome animation features and flexible UI system make it easier to create unique and engaging user experiences with smooth transitions and custom interactions. Flutter also boasts fast development speeds, a hot reload feature, and a rich set of pre-built widgets, making it ideal for quickly prototyping and building MVPs, validating ideas, and iterating quickly. Dart might be a newer language for some developers, but it's pretty easy to pick up on, especially if you have some background in object-oriented programming. Plus, its performance and development speed benefits make it worth the effort. Flutter also has growing support for web, desktop like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and embedded devices, making it a solid choice for creating truly cross-platform apps that go beyond mobile. That all said, there are good reasons why you might want to go with React Native. React Native is a good pick if your team is already skilled in JavaScript or has experience with React, as it offers a quicker onboarding process and lets you use your existing knowledge. If your app requires a truly native look and feel on each platform with the ability to customize the UI and interactions to fit the platform norms, React Native's use of native components can really work in your favor. React Native also makes it easy to share code between web and mobile platforms. This means you can extend your existing React web apps to mobile without much hassle, saving time and effort in development. Plus, it has that big community and a solid ecosystem. This makes it way easier to find solutions to common issues and speed up development. Finally, React Native can be configured to let you push updates to your app without making users download a new version from the App Store. This gives you more flexibility for fixing bugs and releasing new features. While the most important thing to consider is what they can do today, it's also good to check out which each platform has in the works. Both Flutter and React Native are always evolving, with some exciting developments on the horizon. Flutter's popularity is expected to keep growing, 
thanks to its performance perks, gorgeous UI, expanding community, and broader platform support. Look out for more improvements in tooling, performance, 3D rendering, and integration with other Google services. With major companies jumping on board and more developers getting involved, Flutter is solidifying its spot as a leading cross-platform framework. React Native, backed by its huge community, mature ecosystem, and support from Meta, is likely to stay a major player in the cross-platform world. Meta is continually investing in React Native, focusing on architectural improvements, performance boosts, and new features to keep it relevant. The adoption of new technologies like Fabric and Turbo Modules should also enhance React Native's performance and developer experience. While Flutter is on the rise, React Native is expected to hold on to a significant market share. Both frameworks will likely coexist and serve different needs and preferences. We might see them blending together more in the future, with developers taking advantage of both their strengths through integrations and hybrid approaches. The growing demand for seamless cross-platform experiences, along with the rise of new technologies like AR, VR, and AI, will probably spark more innovation and competition in the cross-platform development scene. If you are looking for help in your next mobile application project, reach out to Impeccable. We're a full-service, end-to-end digital product consultancy that can help your company reach its digital dreams. Learn more by visiting our website, www.impeccable.com, via the link in the description.